What's up everybody and welcome back here for a special Saturday upload here of Torque Drift because the devs have dropped us another fire game update. They did some fine new tweaks with the smoke engineering and stuff like that but the big thing was we got a new pro car. So we're going to collect our crates here and then we're going to go take a look. So we got a new pro car, a much anticipated car and we do get to use this pro car so we're going to be doing that today as well but we did get a new pro car i haven't picked it up yet uh but we are going to take a look at it oh we got my ls delivery in we also got some new body kits for the s15 and the supra my s15 is uh getting the full works now there will be a full update video of the new s15 build for all you guys asking for the s15 the new body kit looks amazing i cannot you know get over the fact of how cool it looks with the hood spacers in the front kind of like james dean's s14 but in the s15 version so we're going to take a look at that new pro car which is available for purchase for very good discount of normally a 40 some dollar purchase you get the stock gtr you get money and the pro car we're gonna cancel that for right now but we do now have the gtr of darren kelly so darren kelly's gtr r35 an amazing looking car and it's just it's awesome to see this big boy in the game and the fact that we can get the stock one but the only way we can get the stock one is if you buy darren kelly's pro car so you would want to buy it now while it's on sale for 14.99 because i believe once that's done uh that won't be available for you to get anymore so darren kelly's r35 is here in the game we're gonna rip it today here is a challenge out for a very high score which we're gonna attempt to do today i believe my score is up in the 900 thousands so we did get also a new body kit for the supra so full track ocean drives darren kelly's gtr mine is 991,800 for the max so the car has 1200 or yeah 1279 horsepower it's on zestinos which is a pretty cool tire brand actually we're gonna take my wheel off the rig because i don't need that right there it's kind of in my way soon we'll be using the wheel maybe in the pc version you know hints of what's coming so nine almost a million points here in this r35 not sure how well this is gonna work but we're gonna go for it not sure what gearing you need to be in we're gonna kick it right in the fifth looks like fifth was the money shot kick it in oh boy all right this thing slides very very well out there probably need to be getting all these clips in order to get that almost million points but we're going to see how much we can do and if we can complete this challenge in pretty much one try we gotta make sure we keep the drift we cannot lay out of drift and we can't smack the wall either it seems like it's gonna be a big feat to get but I also forgot we are on Ocean Drive's full course so plenty of track plenty of track to get this done at this car handles so nice right now go smack into the wall some manji's going that's not what i wanted to do ah oh, rip i forgot about that we're gonna redo that i forgot about that turn that i need to slow down a lot for that turn it's been definitely a minute since i've driven this track in full in its entirety but this is definitely a, a bit of a hard challenge i say that now but we might be able to get it right away who knows but almost a million points in one lap here that's much better run through there much better through there right on the wall see th i feel like this challenge is not going to be a challenge that we're going to know if we're going to get it to the end so you have to do the entire track and you won't even really know if you're getting it till the end oof, you need to make sure you link pretty much this whole track in order to get this i feel Quick, quick, quick transition there. Right on line there, right on line there. Doing much better now. Because we're only at about 100,000 points now. 
a little over 100,000, so we need to... Nope. Uh, slowed down a little bit too much, so now we did lose our drift, and I'm not sure if that's going to hinder us from getting it. I kind of tried Demonji a little bit too much there. But we are going to see how this works. We just missed there. Check it out. Definitely a fun car. Probably going to be picking this up just so I can get the stock GTR as well and do a build on a stock GTR. Godzilla has, oh my goodness, I missed the donut run. Godzilla has entered Torque Drift, so it's definitely awesome to see some of these other cars coming in, some of these big players in pro cars and stuff from other, you know, country events and stuff like that. I'm wondering what, you know, cars are coming out next. This was definitely a very amazing car. I caught glimpses of this car coming to the game um, a little bit ago, and uh, just didn't say anything about it because, you know, a lot of people knew about it, but it was kind of uh, a sweet update to get with FD going on uh, this weekend and everything like that. Torque just seemed to always give us some awesome updates on FD weekends. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. We're going to stay in sideways. We're going to stay in drift. We lost drift there. But we're at... See, we're not even halfway there yet. And I'm not sure how far on the track we are. This is a bit of a challenge. Hang that out. There we go. Put it that way. Hang it on that wall. Quick transition. Trying to get as many clips and close calls as we can get. Without... Ooh. So we have lost our drift points in our runs, but we have not smacked into the wall. So we might still be able to get a clean, clean lead, which could be how you really get this challenge. Oh my goodness. I thought we were going to lose it all there. Kind of failed out of that, so I didn't. I'm not even really sure how much more we gotta go, but 500 some thousand is what I got right now. Fortunately, I'm failing at this whole monging today. It's definitely a very early recording for me, so my fine motor skills may not be fully awake yet, and there's the finish, and I do not think we're gonna get in unless we get a really high, clean lead point score, which we did not. So only in the 600,000s and not even enough to get, oh, enough to get the first tier, but we only got 600,000. So that's definitely not good enough. So we're going to try it one more time before we end this episode off. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee though. And then we're going to give this one more chance here for today and see what we can do. And hopefully we can get it. Fifth gear was the gear to go. This car is definitely a monster and a fun car to drive. So if you guys completed this challenge, how long did it take you? Because I know some people probably got it on their first try. And I'm sitting here on my basically third try. Because the first one was kind of a wash when I uh, totally forgot about the turn. And we completed our second run. We did get a clean lead, but wasn't that high of a clean lead. So I'm hoping we can stay in drift this time. Oh no! It's not what I wanted to do. Now we need to make sure we stay in drift for the remaining part of this track if we want any any red of chance to get this. There we go. We finally got that portion of the track down. If you notice, the clipping points are a little bit different too. They change color based on how well you hit them, it looks like. I'm wondering if it gives you more points if you hit it better than if you were to hit it 
not as centered. Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's like an off green, yellow, red definitely when you miss it. Hung that out a little bit too wide. We're able to recover that. And that's not what I wanted to do again. So unfortunately, we already think I've already screwed this run up. Throw it into the donut section. And take off our front bumper and totally screw up that. And into the wall. Car looks pretty good without a rear bumper. Try and I say salvage this run, but I do not think this run is salvageable. It is not, so we're gonna give it one more shot. Whew, I know I said one more time, but I, I wanna get at least the first part of the track good without smacking into the walls. Definitely rough because I'm trying to go a little bit maybe too saucy and too aggressive. But uh I need to maybe dial back the sauce from 11 to 10. Flirting with that wall. Much better run through that section. Miss that, but we will still be able to flick around. Get into that section, hang that out a little bit. There we go much better now. We're going to stay away from that wall this time. Nice and tight on there. There we go. This is looking much, much better. As long as we don't smack into the wall. Really hardy right grab there. Let's get around that corner is what we wanted to do. In this way, there we go. Okay, I like these section turns where I can be a bit away from the wall. We're gonna cut that short because I wasn't gonna try and uh, do another Monty flick there and lose drift. And hang that there. No! Not what I wanted to do. But upwards of 290 already, so maybe we can. Salvage this, salvage this run the best we can. Definitely gonna try and salvage this run and see what we can get. Maybe we can get a second here. Oh my goodness. Flirting with disaster there. I say flirting with disaster, and we've already taken out a wall. Probably should downshift in the fourth, but the car's got the power to hold its own through that. We're nowhere near where we need to be for that. Kind of offline. Definitely not doing good on the latter part of the track. So definitely a very interesting challenge. A very long time to be drifting with uh, trying to be smooth. We're going to miss that, so we're just going to cut there. Ah, there's a big hit. You have to stay very smooth, and you got to try and get as many clip points as you can. Like I said, I haven't driven this full track that often. So we're going to have to try and get this another time and make sure we can try and get our points. Like I said, if you guys have completed it, let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about the update. Are you guys excited to have the GTR? Are you not excited because you can't get it otherwise without buying it? So let me know down, but it is definitely a good deal. We're going to jump that. Ooh, barrel roll. It's definitely a good deal to get all that money, the stock car and the pro car for the cost of basically 15 US. So it's not a bad deal. So if you guys picked it up, I know I've seen a couple GTRs on track. So I'm wondering if some people have either picked them up or if they got uh, the GTRs in a crate. If you got the GTR in a crate, definitely let me know down in the comments because I'm curious if the car is in crate rotation. 
And unfortunately, we are not going to get it this time either. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. I think we did worse than last time. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this update and enjoying FD Weekend. As always, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.